In Thailand, a scandal surrounding the national religion. It involves a Louis Vuitton toting Buddhist monk with his own private jet. Lurid headlines allege everything from fraud to money laundering, statutory rape to manslaughter. Here's our contributor in Bangkok, Ying Panyapon. A 33-year-old Weerapon gained fame and followers by claiming supernatural powers like walking on water. He then got wealthy donors to finance temples and hospitals, including what he claimed was a 36-foot-tall statue of Buddha made of green jade. The statue, though, turned out to be concrete. A lot of that money seemed to end up with Weerapon. Thailand's anti-money laundering office discovered 41 bank accounts linked to him and he allegedly had assets of $32 million. The Department of Special Investigation also found that he spent $3 million US dollar on 22 Mercedes-Benz cars. He's also being investigated for money laundering, drug trafficking, rape, and manslaughter for a hit and run. And Weirapon's excesses may just be the worst of the problem among the Buddhist monks. Take a look at this video that went viral last month. It shows a group of monks enjoying a private jet ride. Check out the shades, headphones, and leather luggage. Thailand's National Buddhism Body has announced it is monitoring all of the country's 61,000 monks for any inappropriate behavior, and Thai social media is full of criticism. One comment on the Bangkok Post website says, why do we see monks living in high life today? It's because of the way they are being treated. Thais regard them as being supreme beings, and this is a big mistake we have made all along. Another comment in the Bangkok Post has pointed out that this problem is rooted in Thai society and is beyond just monk misbehaving. Sadly, this is a reflection of all that is wrong in current Thai culture where shallow, tasteless materialism is worshipped by everyone. The post concluded that Thailand is falling into an intellectual black hole. Another young user wrote, I wanted to be a doctor when I grow up, not because I have a good heart, but because it pays well. Second thought, probably becoming a monk will make me much richer. Thailand's Department of Special Investigation have now met with U.S. immigration officials to explore the possibility of extradition. While Thai officials gave no time frame for that extradition, they said they were confident with the cooperation of the United States that Weerapon would be returned to Thailand to face justice. For Link Asia, I'm Ying Panyapon in Bangkok. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.